So there she is, Kilimanjaro. It's been a funny old year, hasn't it, 2020? I, for one, when I introduced my first video of 2020 up at Manchester Airport, had no idea what turn the year would take, just like everybody else in the world. So join me today then as we say Kwaheri to 2020, possibly the craziest year I've ever seen, with a little ride down to Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Right, let's go to Kilimanjaro. So Air Kenya Express, who I'm flying with today, they usually operate a, a Dash 7 on the flight down to Kilimanjaro, which is an incredibly rare aircraft. There's only a couple of them left. I think there's an airline in Canada that operate them. But other than that, you're not going to find one anywhere in the world. Unfortunately, because of the current situation, there's not many passengers and they can't even fill the smallest aircraft, let alone a Dash 7. So I really doubt that we're going to get a Dash 7 on today's flight, but we'll head down there and we'll find out. Ah, it's good now. Ah, good. Yeah. It's because of the sun. The sun, yes, yeah. very hot. Yes, I'm English. I'm English. I'm not used to this heat. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. I'm the only one, I think. So. <laughs> As is the case for airlines all around the world right now, 2020 has been a really tough year for Air Kenya. 90% of their traffic comes from tourism and this year they've seen their entire network just decimated. They've had barely any passengers because hardly anybody's been coming here. There was even a period of time where they had to shut down completely because you couldn't even travel around Kenya domestically because of their lockdown. So they've had a really rubbish year over here at Air Kenya, but things are looking up. Passenger numbers are up again and they're really hopeful that by 2021 people will be comfortable enough to come back here and experience this incredible country um, once again. And I think, to be honest, 2021 might be even better than before because people are just so tired of being stuck at home and wanting to come out and experience the world like this. As has become normal at so many airports around the world this year, the terminal building was deserted. I was the only passenger flying on Air Kenya today, in fact I even had to buy three extra seats on the plane to make sure that it still went. Outside, like so much of the world this year, even the usually bustling Nairobi Wilson Airport was quieter than usual. Wait, I know that guy. Yep, Air Kenya's pre-flight entertainment is really a YouTube video by the fantastic Jeb Brooks. And speaking of other fantastic aviation YouTubers, I wanted to take a few minutes just to talk about some of my favourites from this year. Firstly, of course, Jeb, who you've just seen, makes some fantastic videos and he's had to adapt like everybody else to the kind of ongoing craziness that 2020 has been. But despite that, he's still continued to put out some really good videos. Secondly, I'd like to say as well a big shout out to Josh Cahill, who is a fantastic YouTuber. He's definitely one of my favourites and he's continued to put out some fantastic fantastic content about traveling through COVID. Now, my personal favorites of Josh from this year, probably his Let 410 video he did in Georgia, which was incredible, but also he's done some great videos on flying on Tunis Air and Air New Guinea, which are just fantastic videos. Please do go ahead and check them out. Josh is an awesome guy as well. I'd like to say an honorable mention to Dennis Bunnick, who has got the unenviable task in 2020 of not only running an aviation YouTube channel, but also running a tour operator in what is perhaps one of the most restricted countries to travel in and out of in the world, Australia. Dennis, mate, I love your videos and the same message I will give to you as I'll give to everybody else in the aviation and travel industry at the moment. I really do hope things get better for you soon and pick up. Things will improve um, and we're going to go into 2021, which is going to be a absolutely fantastic year. And the same message as well to aviation YouTubers around the world. We may all produce very different types of content on different airlines, but ultimately we're just one big family and we just have to remember the brighter times are ahead. It was soon time to get on board the Cessna caravan to take me down to Kilimanjaro and in what sums up travel in 2020 pretty perfectly, I was the only passenger on board. In most parts of the world, if a flight's empty, they'll simply cancel it, but here you have the option of buying extra seats to make sure the flight goes, which wasn't cheap at all, I'll let you know how much later, but it ensured that I could continue the rest of my filming commitments down in Tanzania.
flight down to Kilimanjaro today took 54 minutes, taking us south from Nairobi to cross the Tanzanian border to the west of Kilimanjaro. Cruising altitude today was 10,000 feet. As we climb out of Nairobi and I say goodbye to Kenya, I just couldn't help but think how I'd ended up here in a place that I'd never even considered visiting before 2020 happened. Just like everyone else, my travel and filming plans have been decimated this year and the ones that I was able to plan got changed around so much it made planning anything pretty difficult, really. Some of the places I should have been this year include China, Australia and possibly my biggest one, North Korea, which is all places that I've now got to look forward to once again. But despite this, I've ended up filming so much this year that I'd never thought about filming before. I even ended up using the time stuck in the UK over the summer to renew my private pilot's license, which is something I'd never even thought possible until this year. Here's some of my favourite moments from 2020. Today I'm heading to a place called Sveg. Sveg, 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 Sveg. Sveg, 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 International Hyperboard. <laughs> I have just hit a million followers on Facebook. Thank you so much. I actually feel quite proud really that despite everything 2020 threw at the entire world I've managed to keep videos coming to you guys every single week. Granted some of them tanked, some of them got me death threats and some of them were just a little bit different but keeping you guys, the viewers, entertained throughout this really difficult year has been something that I felt so passionate about. I've put a link on the screen now to all of my 2020 videos so let me know down below which is your favourite down in the comments. So one of the things I've really had to struggle with this year, I think, is the amount of online hate that's been going around. It's been a very, very fractious, if that's a word, year. Um, tensions are running high, there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of anger, and dealing with all of that sort of hate has been kind of quite tough really and I'm very lucky that I've got a great team behind me who filter the majority of it out but there has been a lot of it. Now I suppose really doing this as my job, <sighs> trolls are an occupational hazard. I mean most people have to deal with crappy co-workers, I have to deal with trolls, it's just the way it is. But I do have to agree with the fantastic YouTuber Tom Scott on this subject though uh, and that is that trolls should be rebranded. Instead of trolls we should be calling them shit stains. The reason being that they're foul, they're obnoxious and they're not something that you'd want anywhere near you and I think that is a great analogy for the troll in general. So one thing I would like to say is thank you so much to the trolls, I mean the shit stains, for all of your online hate this year, it's just done nothing but motivate me to work even harder to make more videos, to make better videos. For the guys out there who do enjoy the content, thank you so much for motivating me and your hate has basically got me through the year and pushed me even harder to do even better so thank you so much for that. I would also like to say as well if you are having issues out there, if you are wanting to talk to anybody out there, there is always somebody who can listen so it's been a really crap year for so many people, for most people I think have had it pretty crap and there are people out there who will listen so go and talk to somebody if you're having issues and if you're struggling dealing with online hate and things like that it really is a subject I'm incredibly passionate about so please do go ahead I will pop a link down below to some organizations that can help you if you are in that position where you need some help it's Before too long we were commencing our descent over Tanzania into Kilimanjaro International Airport. Mm -hmm. 
So here's the thing, this flight worked out being my most expensive flight ever. With the three extra seats I had to buy, it cost me the grand total of £559 or 751 US dollars. With a flight distance of just 147 miles, this works out to an incredible £3.80 a mile, easily my most expensive ever flight. Still, it had got me to Kilimanjaro in time to start filming section two of my great African adventure. All right, thank you guys, have a good flight back. Stay safe, thank you. So there she is, Kilimanjaro, rising like Olympus above the Serengeti. Um, yeah, I know the Serengeti is over 200 miles away, but it's just a song, don't shoot me down. I started this year in January at Mount Everest and finishing it here at Kilimanjaro, I think there's something quite poetic about that really. We started the year on top of the world. We've had some really rough patches down at the bottom in between and we're finishing it here, not quite as high as we were at the beginning of the year, but still pretty high up. There's a saying in Swahili, Kilowingu na kikomo shaki. It means every cloud has its end, and I think that saying has never been truer than it is now. Things will get better, and they're already starting to. Thanks so much for watching this video, and thank you for your support throughout 2020. See you on the next one.